Hello, everybody. I would like to start off with a prayer for the people that live in Ukraine. Okay, dear Heavenly Father, I pray that you help the poor people who live in Ukraine. Some of them have lost their homes, their families, their jobs. Some of them are stuck in the middle of battle zones. They need your help, Father. In your precious holy name, amen. Okay, now today we're going to start off with our apps of the day. For those of you who are new, by the way, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. This is not set in stone, and this is subject to change. So, Monday's app of the day is Star Trek Fleet Command. Tuesday's is War Machines. Wednesday's is War Robots. Thursday's is Star Trek Fleet Command again. Friday's is Thunder Mobile. Saturdays is Star Force, and Sunday's Retro. And what do I mean by Retro? I mean like arcade stuff, like uh, the say from like uh some um actual arcades, or maybe uh like a, the Atari Twenty Six Hundred, or things like that, or like the Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive. Depending on where you live, at, depends on what it's called. Yes, yeah, so let me exit out of this. Yeah, so uh, let me make this smaller as well. I said, I went to the wrong thing, my bad. Yeah, so I'm sorry, but I can't get rid of uh, all of these ads because uh, my editor doesn't support that feature. But yeah, so let's get to our Bible verse, which is Genesis 1.14. And God said, let there be lights in the valley to separate the day from the night. And let them serve as signs to mark sacred times, the days, and the years. So what does it mean by sacred times? To me, that means that something that's holy. Something that, like, God wants us to keep. Like the Sabbath. Well, yeah, like the Sabbath. Or, uh, like, Mother's Day or Father's Day. Because let's face facts. Some of us right now are going through hard times. And Mother's Day and Father's Day, they can be rough, they can be challenging, but they can show us that we we need to work together to overcome some things, to help, some, to help somebody or something. We need to come together. Because some of us don't have a mom or dad to turn to. Some of us are orphans. Some of us just don't know what to do no more. And for those of us who are like that, I pray that God blesses y'all. Because uh, the Bible says, Blessed are the weak in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And to me, the weak of spirit applies to like disabled people and also applies to orphans or should apply to orphans. Because, you know, they go through a hard time. Now, I could be wrong. I will admit, I could be wrong. I could be misinterpreting that scripture. I could be wrong. And if y'all think I am, please post in the comment section. But yeah. And, um, yeah, I kind of did this video earlier, but I recorded it in the wrong resolution, and it messed everything up. Well, you messed everything up, but it messed up enough to where I wanted to redo the video, which is, that's what this is. And listen, God wants us to celebrate certain things. He wants us to celebrate the Sabbath, or Christmas, or um, the Resurrection. But He doesn't want us to celebrate things like Halloween, and uh, m most of... Uh, like, like, uh, what's it called, what's it called, what's it called? I'm trying to think of, uh, like, he wants us to r really know the real meaning of Christmas, not because of Santa Claus, because that's a pagan holiday. Yeah, that was why I was looking for pagan. But he wants us to celebrate it because of, uh, that's the day that we choose to celebrate his son being, uh, being born. Now, I understand that, you know, a lot of things point to, like, the springtime of Jesus being born. 
But that's the day that us Christians have chosen to celebrate that because we want to celebrate a pagan holiday as well. Which is sad and depressing, but true. And listen, if y'all have any like questions about the Bible, please let me know in the comment section. Also, I can't get rid of ads like this one right here or this one right here. Well, that's not really an ad, but okay. But like, I can like close out some things, but like still, you can see that it still doesn't completely vanish. Because my editor doesn't support that. And somebody asked me a while back, why don't I get rid of those ads? It's because sometimes I can't. Now, sometimes I can, but I forget to. Honestly, sometimes I do forget to. I mean, I work hard on my videos. And sometimes little things like that slip through the cracks. Yeah. So, uh, if y'all have, like, any questions, like I said earlier, please contact me. Let me show y'all where y'all can contact me at for that. Let's see, I'm going to have to reopen this. Y'all can contact me on uh, Facebook. I'm going to show y'all my own personal Facebook and God's houses. Okay, so we're going to start off with uh, my own personal Facebook. This is my own personal Facebook. Let me show y'all God's houses right now. This is God's house. Wait, it's loading. This is God's houses. Let me show y'all what it looks like to a regular person. Yeah, this is what it'll look like if y'all are doing it. It looks a little different because I'm an admin, so I get to see things that a lot of people don't see. Let me show y'all our Twitter as well while I'm doing this. Let's see, profile. I really need to create shortcuts for this. This is our Twitter. And uh, Twitter is probably the uh, the last, uh, I mean, the least, uh, like, if you really want to reach me, I urge y'all not to do Twitter. I urge y'all to do Facebook because I don't hardly get on Twitter other than, like, I like to show my profile. And I like to uh, share tweets, like as for this one right here. And let's show y'all our Patreon. Now, Patreon, what, a lot of people say, what's Patreon? Patreon is a monthly subscription service that you can use to sponsor different things. And this is God's Houses. And the link should be in the description. If not, uh, remind me and I'll put it. So, yeah, so right now... Uh, it starts off at $3 a month. Now, $3 a month is not really bad. I mean, a lot of us can afford it. I mean, that's like, what, a cup of coffee and a biscuit? Then it jumps to $9 a month. That would be like that, plus uh, some, ga some gas. Uh, and that might fluctuate a little bit. Well, I'm saying the gas price might fluctuate a little bit. These prices are set in stone, which is mean, means I won't change them unless... Something really bad happens. And the next one is $25 a month, which $25 a month, that's way more expensive than the $9 a month. But I just like to keep an expensive option out there for those of us who can afford it. Yeah. But let's get back to our Bible verse, because I don't like talking about uh, just our uh, financial stuff. Yeah, I think it's this one. Yeah, yeah. So we need to we need to follow. We need to realize that the calendar itself is something that represents our nation, something that represents our culture, something that that can even represent us, depending on if we celebrate certain things. Yeah. And listen. God takes time to do things. He doesn't just rush in and do things. Because if you think about it, God could have taken care of it. God could have created everything in like the first second or the, or the first fraction of a second. 
but he took time to do things. And that's what we need to do. We need to take time to do things. Like, you see this ad right here? Yeah. You see, you can still see this. And I'm not saying that I support these ads. And I'm not saying that, uh, well, I don't support these ads because I don't get paid by anybody. But some of them uh, can be helpful. Yeah, and I'm sorry if, like, uh, I forgot to uh, exit out of an ad or something like that. It's just sometimes, you know, I'm trying to preach the word of God, and I don't pay attention to the entire screen. Because I have recently had a conversation with somebody on YouTube about the ads. And I'm like, dude, my editor doesn't support that feature. And if you're watching this, and if you're that person, I would like to thank you for saying that. And thank you for not being mean or uh, angry about it. But yeah. And uh, if y'all have any ideas of like any apps that y'all can actually let me know. The only thing is, is that uh, it has to be something that's not that violent. It can't cuss. Or maybe, uh, I'm not sure if it can have a voice chat. I'm not sure about that one. And I'm not sure, uh, well, it can have, uh, maybe too gory, which was, I mean by that, I mean, I like, can have a lot of blood and can have a lot of devilish symbols. And it can't be no, uh, no word puzzle or like no puzzle games because I'm not good at that. I'm just being honest, I'm not. Yeah. And, uh, I hope that y'all have had a blessed day. If y'all can, please put one thing that y'all been blessed about in, in the comment section because some people really need to see the good side of things. Like a bunch of the media talks about the war with Ukraine and and the global pandemic. Heck, even North Korea right now has had a case of COVID-19. And they're one of the most isolated nations. And they're strict. So I want to see, I, I kind of, uh, I'm kind of worried that they might take things to a whole nother level. Like, like they might even be more strict in China right now. So let me get some water right quick. I got some water in this room, but let me pause the video. Okay, now recently I would like to uh, ask for your prayers because I made a decision I might have messed up on about going somewhere about going to a festival, I decided not to go because my Tourette's. And uh, for those of you who wonder what's Tourette's, Tourette's is uncontrolled muscle movement, and it can get to the point where I can't walk, and I keep on falling down and things like that. In fact, I had a fall, uh, let's see, on Mother's Day, I went to my mom and mom for falls, on Mother's Day. In fact, my mom made something very special for me that I want to show off. Let me pause again and go get it. Okay, I'm sorry for pausing, but I just want to save a few seconds of y'all being bored. So, yeah. So, this is what my mom made for me on the back. It's just regular one. But on the front, you can see that it has a little cross inside of it. And it's a big cross on the outside. And it's red, and the reason why it's red isn't to symbolize Jesus' death, but it's there for me uh, because I like the color red. And yeah, and I realized that with the price of gas going up and the price of everything else going up, that uh, uh, we need to uh, watch our money. And me, I just spent uh, about $200 on some headphones. That might not have been wise, but to me, it replaced two things. One, it replaced my headset. Two, it replaced my mic, both of which were wired. And to, and if I were to lean further back with my headset, my entire computer could fall 
because my computer is small. I'm I'm using a Mac Mini M1, not M1 Pro or Max or whatever, but just an M1. And for those of you who wonder what does the M, the M stand for, it stands for uh, the, a chip in it that makes it very powerful. In fact, the chip is also used, I believe, in the iPad. So yeah, and please uh, keep my little brother in your prayers. He's going to do so much with his schooling. With uh, he, he, right now he has to share a room with his uh older brother, and uh, for those of you who are wondering, my little brother was adopted, and we got uh, and his mother gave up his uh, his older brother to us. So yeah, so right now I'm the oldest at the house out of all all three of us. And I try to be an example for my little brother, but there's only so much I can do, so much I can say, so much I can, uh, you know, uh, do. And uh, whenever I mess up, I need to own up to it. Because honestly, it can be easy to blame him. It can be easy to blame others. It can be easy to blame uh you know, other people. It can be easy. By the way, if you if y'all wanna sponsor God's house, well y'all have to do something. Y'all have to show that y'all Christian organization. Because I will not sponsor nobody and then turns out they believe in atheism or something like that. Or they might be a Muslim. No offense, but this is a Christian channel. And right now, um, I'm trying to save up my money because I spent a lot of it. This is my second pair of headphones. My first pair fell into some uh, food and stopped working. I had some Raycons, but this time I decided to go with Apple. And these are a lot bigger, and they fit in my ear a lot better. Plus, they were uh, they were pretty easy uh, set up with my phone. Which, for those of you who are wondering, no, I don't use this for my phone's videos because that just because there's no option in my uh, capture software for it. Maybe they will be in the future, I don't know. Right now, there's no option for it. And for those of you who are wondering, on my, uh, let me get to the app on my phone to show you, to tell you the name of it, in case y'all want to capture some stuff. It's AZ Screen, uh, let's see. Let me get the whole name. A Z, like an A, then the Z or Z or whatever, then screen, then space recorder. I highly like that one. Let me get back to the timer. And on my phone, I, I on my uh, computer, I use uh, OBS, which stands for Open Broadcast System, which is still used a lot, I think. Like some people might use something different, but I use this. And uh, the reasons why I use uh, these programs is because I'm very familiar with them. Because I've been using them for uh, a while now. For I mean, OBS has been since, it's been like two, maybe three years. And as for the other one, it's been about two years. Now, and I say you, sometimes I, uh, I, I stopped doing YouTube videos for a while, but then I started back. Yeah. And I'm sorry, I didn't think about uh, exiting out of different ads, but I don't always support these, I don't support these ads. 
And I don't get paid to. I want to make that thing clear. I do not get paid to support ads. But you see, even God, uh, let's go back to the Bible verse, said that some days should be kept sacred, like the Sabbath, which a lot of people say is Saturday. And I believe that. And it says that, uh, that, that, uh, I don't want to say that, like, y'all are breaking the law of the Bible, but that we shouldn't work on the sa- Saturday. But some of us are forced to work on the Saturday, so it's not really our fault. It's because the Sabbath day is supposed to represent the seventh day of creation, or the, se- or the seventh day, or let me, wait, let me start over. The Sabbath day is supposed to represent the seventh day, and on, on, and on the seventh day, God rested. That's what happened. He rested. So if he took time to rest, imagine what we need to do as Christians. If God got tired, imagine what, if the creator of the universe got tired, imagine us being even less, having less energy, less power, less, uh, Basically, that's everything. And he rested. Imagine what we need to do. Sometimes it's a good idea to rest, but try not to isolate. Try not to use that as an excuse to isolate. It's because to me, there's a difference in between resting and isolating. Resting is like maybe sitting down watching a Christian show or movie, and isolating is keeping to ourselves not doing certain things, not going to church, not set, not uh, being around friends because we're going through depression. And yes, if y'all know somebody that's starting to do that all of a sudden, call them and uh, let them know, hey, is everything okay? And sometimes they'll say, uh, sometimes they might lie to y'all. Sometimes they might be like, oh, well, I'm going through this or I'm going through that. And y'all can be like, oh, how can I help y'all with this or that? Because that's what we need. We need to help one another. I'm sorry, I keep on moving the the chair. The chair doesn't stay still. We need to help one another. We need each other. We need each other badly, too. It's not something that we must have. It's not something that we must do. It's something that we should do because we're Christians. We should want to help out one another. Because we're all human. All of us are human. Whether you be Muslim, Gentile, a Christian, a Hindu, all of us are human. And we need to, uh, sometimes we need to set an example for others to follow. Like, uh, me for instance, about once or twice a month, I call my papa, I call my, uh, uncle, I call my, uh, I call different members of my family members just to check up on them. Just to see how they're doing. Heck, doing that brought, brought this conversation up about them making this. I don't know if y'all can see, but it's red. And like I said earlier, it's got a cross in the middle of it. I don't know if y'all can see that with uh, my camera. And maybe one day I'll get a professional camera. But it's just right now I really can't afford it. Because like I said, these new headphones were expensive. And that's with, um... With insurance, because uh, I wanted to buy these with insurance just in case something happens to them, and like something happened to my other ones. But these are a lot bigger, and I kind of like that, because uh, you know, and no, they're not the pro version; they're the third generation version, because I can't afford uh. I couldn't afford anything. Well, maybe I could afford it, but I didn't want to completely drain out my bank account. But yeah. You 
Yeah, so uh, please keep me in your prayers that I make the right financial decisions and I don't blow all my money. Like, I have a tendency to do that. Whenever I look at my bank account, it just makes me more depressed or depressed because I feel I should save more. But I do spend, like, a lot of my money on things that go towards God's house, like these headphones, this camera I'm using, the computer sometimes I use that for God's house. And for those of you who wonder why I keep on saying God's house, God's house is the organization I use to share these videos. And there's an old um, dream or vision I have that might be uh, true right now because it's, because let me uh, start from the beginning. Okay, so whenever I was little, I had this dream or this vision where God told me he wanted me to be a pastor. But as the years went on, I asked God, what did he tell me he wanted to be a bee? And if he's a pastor, how should I be that? And he said two things. One, he, well, he told a friend of mine two things. One, I shall be ordained by my church. And two, I want be, he wants me to be a pastor. And that's what God's house is. God's house is my church. So in a way, I'm a pastor. But I'm not a licensed pastor. And I don't, and I don't consider myself to be a Bible expert. So yeah, and I keep on moving around a lot. Sometimes I get nervous. And uh, for those of you who don't know me, I have Tourette's syndrome. I have floaters. I have high blood pressure, and I have had a history of depression. I mean, and it got close before. I mean, I was about to try to overdose. And I thank God that my God, that my uh, dad walked in whenever he did, because he caught me. Because my, oh, and, my, and I have had racing thoughts. Sometimes I would get uh, one of those things. And those racing thoughts combined with everything else wasn't good. In fact, it got me impatient for a while. And for those of you who need to go impatient, I encourage y'all to do so. And for those of you who are having mental health problems, I urge you to do two things. A, contact a, last, a, la a licensed pastor, and B, contact a therapist. Because together, um, the pastor will give you a, bi a biblical point of view, and a therapist will cover everything else. Because sometimes we need that second opinion. And listen, if you live in the U.S., and if you haven't thought of suicide, there's something called the National Suicide Prevention Hotline. And, uh... I don't know the number to that, so y'all can Google that. Yeah, and that's something that should be taken very, very seriously. I mean, a lot of people play around with that, but you shouldn't do that. You should take that very seriously. Let me see, I'm going to go to this. Okay, with that, I'm going to just leave it alone. Okay, so, uh, a lot of people ask, why, uh, why do you only use YouTube to share your videos? I mean, I used to use TikTok and GodTube. Well, the reason is, is that I want it to be easy for one person just to come and watch all my videos. Or just for a few people, just, you know, for one place for all my videos. Not counting where I share them at. I'm talking about actually uh, editing and uploading videos. Because both tw Twitch and GodTube had their own uh, differences. Like GodTube had a limit on the amount of space that a video could take up. And TikTok had a limit on how long the videos could be.
which turns out both of them made uh, the videos about the same length, more or less. Because I like to upload my videos in HD, so God to, yeah, I had to do like uh, about four or five minute videos and TikTok about the same. And I'm old school. I like YouTube. I go on YouTube a lot. I stay on YouTube like all day. Yeah. And I'm sorry if I, uh, you know, hurt somebody. Well, I'm sorry if I misguide y'all or if I misinterpret something. But listen. If y'all want to, y'all can go to this site right here called the Bible Gateway dot com, and they have like different versions of the Bible. Like, let's say, for instance, I wanted to see the UK version of this verse is right here, or if I wanted to see uh the let's see. Word of God translation, that's the first time I even heard of that. It's right here. And sometimes, uh, and it also has like, well, sometimes, let me go back. One, two. Yeah, sometimes uh, it has, well, all the time, I think it has this uh, one right here. Well, it might read it to you. I don't know. I never used it. And I wish to use it, y'all can hear it anyway because I, because I can't record sounds directly from my computer. So, also, I'm sorry that I messed up. Uh, I think it was uh, Friday. You see, I did Gundam Mobile twice on uh, Thursday and Friday because I didn't realize that I had done it. On Thursday, and I went ahead and did it on Friday. Oh, that might be today. Let me check. Let me check whenever that came out. Hold on. It came out on the fourth, on the thirteenth and the fourteenth. So that would be today and yesterday. So Friday, Friday and Saturday, we had Gundam Mobile, which I'm sorry about. It's just with the whole uploading schedule, sometimes I, I get stressed out, and sometimes I do it, like, and I'm so tired. But today, um, today, uh, let's see, what, what's today? Today's Saturday, so tomorrow. We're going to be doing, uh, wait, let me see what app we're going to be doing tomorrow. I know I showed a list earlier, but sometimes I forget. Show y'all what we're going to be doing. Just as a little reminder. Okay, so tomorrow it's going to be retro. Now, uh, wait, let me see something. No, tomorrow can't be, uh, uh, hold on. Well, I was wrong again. Tomorrow uh, and today we're going to be doing Star Trek Fleet Command because it's going to be fun. This video is going to fall on a Sunday. I, I, on a Monday, I thought that it would fall on a Sunday for some strange reason. But yeah. See, even I am mixed up in my own uh, head. Let me enlarge this for those of you who have a smaller screen and can see it. I know that the text is small, but there's not really much I can do about that. I can highlight it though. Let me highlight it. Yeah, that might appear better to some of y'all. Yeah. And a bunch of people are like, why do you have Star Trek Fleet Command twice? Well, A, is because it saves memory on my phone because I don't have that much memory. And B, I'm good at it. I mean, I wouldn't say I'm the best side, but I would say I'm okay on it. Yeah, so, um, and some of us are wondering what's that about, 
and that you get your own like uh planet and space station and starships and like you get to like go explore and go do some missions and gather resources and just slowly build up your technology. Yeah, that's what that is. I'm probably the only person in the world that plays that right now. But it's pretty cool. Now, if y'all have, like I said earlier, if y'all have any suggestions about maybe, uh, like let's say uh, there's a game called Noah's Ark 3D or Super 3D Noah's Ark for PC, I might play that one if y'all suggest it. If I can. I don't know if I can. I forgot to look. I'm sorry. I just got up again. I take. I got up earlier this morning and I went back to bed. And yeah. So, um... You know, as Christians, we really need to study God's Word. The Bible says, study to show thyself approved. And to me, that, that starts with, that, that can start, you can start studying with, uh, even in Revelation, you can start studying. Because, uh, I've heard of somebody that started with, well, I know somebody that started with Revelation. And they worked their way backwards, which was interesting. It was a teacher. Yeah, so uh, if I sound a little bit loud, let me know. I want to sound clear and not staticky. And we're approaching the uh forty minute limit forty minute uh time forty minutes, we're approaching forty minutes and put you like that. This video's going on for about an hour. And the reason being is that um you know, we a lot of us have to sacrifice time and our own personal time to study the Bible and that's what this is. This is sacrificing at least one hour to study the Bible. And say what God wants us to do. And, uh, you know, some days uh, we choose to celebrate God. Some days we choose to celebrate His resurrection. But some days, sadly, we choose to celebrate things like Halloween or like the pag pagan holidays or something like that. Which is sad, but true. And some days we think our Santa Claus is no big deal. He's just a fictional character. The kids won't mind if they find out later on that he's not real. A, even a small lie is a big lie to God because the Bible says, For the wages of sin is death. So what does that mean? That means that we all deserve to die and go to hell. And B, uh, God wants us to celebrate His Son being born, not no guy dressed up in white and red and have a black belt sometimes, and uh, you know things like that. He doesn't want us to do that, but we ch but we choose to do that of our own free will, and our free will is something that is uh, very important to God because He doesn't want us to remind His robots. He wants us to study His Word and apply to our lives. That's what He wants. And yeah. Uh, and listen, please pray for us who've lost loved ones due to the pandemic. And please pray for us for people who've lost their mom, their dad, their sister, their brothers recently, or are still suffering with that loss. 
which they're probably going to be suffering with that loss for the rest of their life. And listen, if y'all are having thoughts about joining them in heaven right now, then I urge y'all to contact the National Suicide Prevention Hotline, like I said earlier, because I'll take that stuff very, very seriously. And if y'all don't live in the U.S., then contact the local therapist, and I asked him for help. And also, uh, <coughs> sorry, I need to get some water. And in both cases, I urge y'all to also contact a licensed pastor. I mean, I'm not licensed. But I'm still serving and worshiping God. I'm still praising Him. I'm still glorifying Him. I'm still us uh, studying His Word every day. Because so every day we do these videos is us studying His Word. Now sometimes we don't go into details like we should. Sometimes we mess up. Like me, for instance, I mess up a bunch of times. Yeah, like, uh, rushing through and doing these videos and, uh, doing them at the wrong resolution. Yeah, that's not the devil's fault. That's mine. That's my fault for rushing through it. And now I have to reshoot this. Well, I've had to reshoot this. Yeah. And please see me in our prayers at these mistakes. Stop. For those of you who are wondering, I shot this originally in a, uh, in a um, low resolution. I, I edited this in a low resolution, and then I couldn't edit it and put it in high definition after, because I tried, and I, it just didn't let me for whatever reason. But yeah, and I didn't keep the original, so I have to, I had to come up with another, uh, I have to do another take. Anyway, uh, I'm about to go eat in a little while. I'm getting kind of hungry. I have to go get myself some more coffee, too. Try to stay awake for my little brother. I see he should be getting up any minute now. Yeah, and recently I made, I might have made a bad choice about not going somewhere. I pray that if I did it, God forgives me. But yeah, so, uh, and uh, please uh, keep me in your prayers for my threats. It can get very bad at church, which is why uh, I, I haven't been, which is why I just started going back to church recently. That and uh, I want to uh, serve God and I want to be there for my sister's wedding. And I would hate to miss that. Yeah. I would hate to miss that. And some people say, Oh, it's all in here and you can control it. Well, for me, I'm not really sure how I can control it. I just don't know how. And I don't have the therapy I need right now. And, uh, yeah. And this don't pick on somebody who has Tourette syndrome. Because they have to live with that. Fact you shouldn't pick on people in general. You should be nice and kind to people. But some of us are mean, cruel. Some of us are uh, liars. Some of us are sinners. Some of us uh, just don't 
uh, like, for instance, some of us uh, are jealous of others and listen. Just because that you have special needs doesn't mean that you can't do what you want to do in life. I, it can mean that you can't do some things the same way other people, other people can do it. And sometimes we can't do things that we really want to do, but sometimes we can find workarounds. Like, uh, you know, like a uh, whole bunch of sports people, they have disabilities, but they choose to continue to work. They choose to work past through them. Yeah. Hold on, I'm gonna go get something to eat. Uh, I might uh, end the video right now because I'm kind of with nothing to say. Uh, yeah, so um, just please, please keep other people's feelings in your thoughts and in your hearts because this world can be cruel and unusual. This world can be sad. This world can be depressing. This world can be uh, downright discouraging. And so it's fast, that's the kind of world that we live in. I might go back to bed soon, I might go warm me up some coffee. Hold on, I'm gonna we'll be right back again. Okay, I'm back, I'm warming me up some coffee. Yeah, so, uh, a bunch of us right now are just going through hard times. We are. We're going through very, very hard times. And we need each other. We do. We need each other badly. And as Christians, I believe that we should be, that we're part of something called the body of Christ. Now, what is the body of Christ? Well, the body of Christ is whenever one person gets hurt, the other is rushing to help us. Because that's what the body does. It helps itself. And that's what we should do as Christians. We should help each other. And listen, the Bible says that he doesn't want us to be uh, lukewarm. He wants us to be on fire for him. Now, what do I mean by on fire for him? I mean, he wants us to praise him and worship him with all of our heart, all of our mind, all of our soul. And to not mislead people, to not uh, cause others to sin, to not uh, just to not do certain things. Like drinking alcohol or marijuana or even vaping. Because vaping is bad for you. I'm sorry, I'm about to fall asleep right now. I just got up not that long ago, again. I got up early this morning and then went back to bed. Now it seems like I'm about to go back to bed again. Yeah. So, um, you know, I would like to thank y'all for taking the time out of y'all day just to, uh, you know, study and praise God. Or maybe not praise God, because we didn't do any worship songs. But to study His Word. I see there's a lot of bit of water left in there. But yeah. And, um... What should we do as Christians to help one another? Well, I urge y'all to, um, to just, sometimes all we can do is call people. Sometimes all we can do is message people. Sometimes all we can do is talk face-to-face -to, -face to people. 
Or sometimes we can do a mixture of those. But, or sometimes we can like write each other letters. But yeah, we need each other. I'm trying people, but it's hard. And then I thank God that I have a mother and father that I can turn to to help me. Some people don't have that. Some people don't have a mother or father. Some people only have themselves. I'm keeping an eye on the timer, on the time right now. Because we got about uh, a few minutes left. Got about uh, less than 10 minutes left. Yeah, and for those of you who wonder why y'all have a timer, well, it's because it takes time to edit and upload these videos. That's why I have a timer. It takes time to do these things. And I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I put these videos off. Sometimes I don't want to do these videos. But I know I should because that's what God wants me to do. But maybe that's the devil trying to trick me. Anyway, I'm not further to talk about, so I'm going to have to stop right here, guys. Bye. Hey, guys, if y'all like this video and y'all want to share the Word of God, y'all can like and subscribe and comment. And if y'all want to donate some money, we have a Patreon page. Now, the Patreon stuff starts at $3 a month, and it goes up to $25. And the reason why we do it monthly is because that gives us an idea of what we're going to be able to make like for the next month. Anyway, bye guys.